Question 12, 1.28 times by 100. Now I've just got a few notes down at the bottom here. Now remember, anytime you're multiplying or dividing by 10, 100 or 1000, you've got to move the digits of the number. Now if you're multiplying, you've got to move the digits forwards. In other words, that would be this way. Okay, you'd be moving the digits forwards to make the number bigger. So if, you, if you're multiplying by 10, you move the digits one place to the left. Multiply by 100, move the digits two places to the left. Multiply by 1,000, move the digits three places to the left. If you're dividing, your number is going to get smaller. Okay, so when you move the digits forward, the number gets bigger. When you move the digits backwards, the number gets smaller. So dividing by 10 means you move the digits one place to the right. Divide by 100, two places to the right. Divide by 1,000, three places to the right. The number of places matches the number of zeros on the end. So one place would be one zero, two places would be two zeros, three places would be three zeros. So now we can go back to this question. So we've got 1.28, so let's put it in there. If we imagine each square is a column or a place value, so we've got units, tenths, hundredths, and after un in front of units would become tens, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, like that. So, because we're counting by 100, that's this one here. It's got to move each digit two places forward. So the one is going to go one, two places forward into this column. So the one's going to go into the hundreds column. And the two and the eight are just going to follow after the one. So the two and the eight are going to go there. And your decimal point is going to still be lined up. So your final answer is 1.28. The 1 moves 2 places to the 100s column, the 2 moves 2 places to the 10s column, and the 8 moves 2 places to the unit column. Final answer, 128.